Thank you for choosing Toshiba. Welcome to this video on how to set up docking profiles to dock the call manager application. Once you launch your call manager application, you will see an option at the top that says Preferences. Click on this. After you open Preferences, you will see an option on the left-hand side that says Docking. This option defines the contents of call manager when it is docked to the top or bottom of the screen. This includes whether docking is enabled or disabled, as well as a listing of contents by display priority. Space may limit what can be displayed in the docking mode. Click on Docking. You now get a Setup Preferences dialog box. Let's review the options. Enable Screen Docking. When enabled, Call Manager will automatically dock to the top or bottom of the PC screen when it is moved to the top or bottom. When dragged completely to the top, it has a slim dock view. Docked Profile. You have two options here. Regular will dock your application with two lines at the top. It is a slightly larger footprint with the two lines. Slim Dock will dock your application with one line and is a smaller footprint. Moving on to Docking Settings. Enable Redock on Startup. Check this box to make Call Manager to start up in the same position and condition as when it was last shut down. Disable Undocking. When this option is enabled, once you dock your Call Manager application, you will not be able to undock it again until you go back into Preferences and disable this option. Used Elements. The displays, buttons, etc. to be used in each profile are configured by moving available elements to the Used Elements list. Whenever the Call Manager is screen docked, it will place the elements from the Used Elements list on its screen. Available Elements The Available Elements list shows the types of elements that are available for use in this profile. To add an element to display, click on the element in the Available Elements box and then click the Add button. To remove an element from being displayed in the docking mode, click on the element in the Used Elements box and then click on the Delete button. This element is now moved back to the Available Elements box. Special note, once you've changed the screen docking settings, the new settings will not be used until the Call Manager is undocked, if it is already screen docked, and then redocked. Once you have chosen all your settings, click on the Save button. Here is an example of the Call Manager application when it is docked. To dock your Call Manager application, simply grab a corner of the application with your mouse and move it to the top or bottom of your screen. It will then dock in the profile you have selected. To undock your Call Manager application, simply grab the application with your mouse and move it up or down. Now the application will be undocked. 